Well, first of all, the e-rocket is a disruptive product, no doubt about it. Um, we know the bicycle. Since more than 200 years, there was a, um, a gentleman named Mr. Drix uh, who invented the bicycle more than 200 years ago. And there was a gentleman uh, in 1903 who invented uh, the gas throttle on the right side uh, of the handlebar. And this is what we know as the operating interface for a two-wheeler. We eliminated this one and just transferred it into the pedal. So the pedal is our interface to move forward. If you pedal fast, you go fast. If you pedal slow, you go slow. If you stop pedaling, the vehicle stops. What does that mean? In your brain, in your acting on this vehicle, you are riding a bicycle. That is what you have learned when you have been a young uh, a fellow in three or four age, uh, uh, ages or something. Uh, so this is, um, first of all, why we use the pedals. But the second thing is, operating this bike with pedals gives you an, a very exciting driving pleasure. It's an absolutely unknown feeling to pedal and overtake a car in a city. It's absolutely, we call it moving magic, and I can only invite the people to test it out. Even motorcycle world champions, a Formula One champion, uh, uh, have been on the e-rocket, and they thought it's quite exciting. So, pedaling means you are one with your bike. It's not these 1.5 inches on the right side of the handlebar, it's you using your feet, moving the pedals, and accelerating the e-rocket from 0 to 58, 59 miles per hour. That's a big difference. Describable in wording, yes. Experienceable, so to speak, only if you take a ride.